Forgive us, Father, for we are about to sin and be very naughty boys. I mm. just rewatched uh, Space Jam today. Yes, and you realize it's not a good movie. Can you jacked off uh, the bunny? Get fucked! It's a great movie. No, um, it's not. It's really not. Like, like it's one of those that, like, I still enjoy. It. It's a, still a fun movie, but oh God. yeah, it's great for us because it's nostalgia. But, but you know what's really funny? What's that? Is, so you know, like the big, the like the big like playoff game that they're having, and uh, like in the stadium with all the other Looney Tunes watching. Oh, you mean for their um, right to live as Looney Tunes? Instead, <laughs> they, if they lose, they get enslaved to an alien overlord. Yes, I want to come back to that thought, the slavery thought, real quick uh, in a minute. But um, I was wa- as I was watching, um, I was actually paying more attention to the background characters in the movie. That's the main reason I threw in the Space Jam gif. I'm not going to lie. Um, so if you look in the background of the that arena that they're in, there are the characters that they have in the background are all C like they're all like more of a 3D animate like three and a half D animated style, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And there is a guy that is on loop picking his nose awesome. throughout okay. the entire fucking basketball game. And he shows up like 87 times. Oh, <laughs> what? But yeah, so all of these characters are on, like, they're just, they have like four or five uh, frames, but they're just on, it's just a looping gif of each of them. And it is the funniest shit in the world. To look into the background and see them. So not about that, but real quick about how annoying it is, how you have to actually like go and find it and like take a screenshot and shit. Yeah. Uh, you never watched your show Community, did you? Uh no. No, I did not. Oh man. There's a poster in it that I wanted there's a painting in it that I wanted to make into a poster for a friend for Christmas one year. And it was so annoying because the only way you can find it is on the act like if you're actually fucking watching it and you can't uh you can't do a screen grab off Netflix, and then, and then like it was just trying it with the DVD. The pixels and shit were so bad when you enlarged it. It's one of the most annoying things trying to just get like a single image out of a movie, you know? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I'm still mad that they desexualized uh, Lola and made her look like Amy Schumer. That is why y'all just hate on Amy Schumer a lot. I don't find her very funny. That's fine, but you don't have to shame her looks. I'm not shaming her looks. I'm shaming You're Lola right. Bunny's looks. You're no, right. yeah, no. Here's right. my issue. Here's my Schumer. issue. No, I'm not saying that it has anything to do with... If she looked like anybody else, I'd have an issue with it. It's not the fact that she looks like Amy Schumer I have an issue with. It's that they redesigned her for this new movie. They left everybody else alone except for her. So... Mark, what you were saying about the dude picking his nose? Yeah. You know how, because of COVID, they kept trying to find different ways to do sports this last year? Right. So you know how one of the things that they did was uh, Was virtual audiences? Yeah. (gasps) Well, speaking of looping them, do you remember what happened at one of them? Oh, the the yell? The guy who's just screaming in agony (laughs) over and over in the background. (laughs) Oh, that was so funny. One of the things that I was going to bring up actually fits very well right here. Um, let me pull it up. Oh, okay. Uh, Jeff, we don't want to see your cock. God damn. Speak Come for on. yourself. Brandon, I don't have that good of a zoom lens. <laughs> <laughs> um, so real quick while you're pulling that up, um, Brandon, you're not wrong. The acting for the sports stars is awful in this film. Mm -hmm. But one thing that I will say is still to this day, one of the greatest parts of space jam is the fucking soundtrack they have. Oh yeah. Everybody get up. It's time to slam down. And also Lola bunny. All Lola bunny's milkers are just the fucking best. I don't like them called that. I know you don't. That's the only reason I call them that. What the fuck am I looking at here? So that's what I was going to bring up earlier. Is that a gerbil? A man once fell into an incredibly dark black cartoon hole. 
Oh, yeah, I've seen that. <laughs> so this dude, uh, he's a sculptor, and he's known for making artwork that looks incredibly realistic. So one of the ones that he did was <laughs> he had a he had a this it was a it was in a museum in Portugal. <laughs> and what it is is he he made one of those cartoon black holes. But well, dude, so dude, no, go ahead. Well, this one dude thought it was just one of his optical illusions, but it wasn't. It was an actual fucking hole. So the dude, <laughs> it's oh, because it's, it's three dimensional. Because he did it in a way that he so yeah. This is done by the guy Anish Kapoor who did the um, created the blackest black. Yeah, which is by the way, oh, that stuff is black. awesome. Um, there, I'm super excited because um, there are other art so. He has trademarked the blackest black so other people and artists can't use it. So other artists are just coming out with other colors and like making like the like people. Pink. Yeah, pink is pink and like a bunch of other stuff. And they'll come out with their own versions of blackest black, their own. Dude, I love it. And, um, and they leave it open for people to be able to buy it. But you have to sign a waiver that says you are not Anish Kapoor. <laughs> One, that's awesome. Two, that's my the second it's the second people are using it for clothing, it is officially my new favorite thing. Oh god. Because yeah. imagine making yourself a shadow person costume, which is just one of those in a morph suit. But imagine that walking through a fucking con. Oh yeah. It's awesome. So I I, I that's awesome. I, I found the guy. I can't get like a good picture of it because it's super fucking pixely. But you know that part where Bugs gets bitch slapped by one of the aliens and goes sliding across the court? Uh, Monstars. Right. Um, so if you look in, uh, like, a as he's sliding across the court, there's this pink fucking cowboy <gasps> just picking his nose, right? And then it changes camera angles to focus on Michael Jordan that's like, oh, my God, that looks horrible. And the same fucking pink cowboy is behind Michael Jordan picking his nose. All right. Well, I'll just watch the movie. He's clearly a teleporter. Clearly. Oh my god, it's a sci-fi cowboy. So, I've also got. If you guys want, I can read these out uh, from the same website. People are sharing the most random facts they know, and they're oh, amazing. Sweet. Or, uh, scientists are sharing the one thing they want the world to know about their fields. Yes. Which one? Um, yeah, both of them. Okay, which one do you want to start with? Yeah, we'll start with scientists because I'm already there. All right, cool. Glad that was solved. <laughs> All right. Uh, anthropologists did not st stop using biological race to be politically correct. They stopped because it's bad science. That's a good one. Ooh. Ah, how about this one? Probably my favorite. There's no debate about vaccines. They save lives, and they do not cause autism whatsoever. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, <clears throat> I don't even, I have, I have hardly anything to say about it because, well, yeah, it's, yeah, th that's, see, that's the thing. These are just scientific facts. So, oh, cool. Um, you benefit from the findings of climate science every day, whether or not you believe humans are causing climate change. True. Uh, people with disability enrich our lives and advance understanding of science in the world. I mean, I don't get how that's a science one, but yeah. Uh, biotech can be used to make foods uh, make food safer and more environmentally friendly. Okay. Uh, ah, this is one that I've had to say for a while. Uh, there are over 200 different types of cancer. There isn't going to be one cure. Okay. Oh, no, no I'm sorry. This is one that I like. Evolution is not improvement. Ev evolution is not betterment. Evolution is not progress. Evolution is change. Hmm. Um. Oh, that was a good burp. I thought that was Brandon. Nope. No, that was me. <laughs> Polar bears don't live in Antarctica. Polar bears don't live in Antarctica. Polar bears don't live in Antarctica. And the one right after that? Dolphins oh. aren't fish. Dolphins aren't fish. Dolphins aren't fish. Wait, where do polar bears live? They live at the North Pole. North Pole. Oh, okay, that's right. Penguins live at the South Pole. Polar Medieval, bears live at the North Pole. Medieval people didn't even think the world was flat. 
That's a good one. Ah, okay. Here's here's a good one. When sh when shooting communications lasers between mountaintops, you'd think birds would get in the way way more than kangaroos do, but you'd be wrong. Wait, I'm sorry, what? Say that again? When shooting communications lasers between mountaintops, uh -huh. you'd think birds would get in the way more than kangaroos do, but you'd be wrong. Why, wait a minute. Ah, oh, fuck me. Gotta go clear out the roofs off of the fucking uh, <clears throat> things now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> that's just, that's that's basically it. I, I well, just I wait. How many fucking kangaroos are on mountaintops? Or near the, I'm a very... Between mountaintops. Hmm. Well, think about it this way. With the curvature of the earth, at some point, if you're shooting, if the mountains are far enough away and you're shooting a communications laser between them, at some point, that laser is getting pretty damn close to just sea level. That's that's a good point, yeah. Fair. Uh, some fungi have more than 20,000 sexes, but we can't tell them apart by how they look. Only the fungi know. I mean, Here's I'm a pretty fun one. guy. I don't know what to do with any of this information that you're giving me. This Birds. is just fucking blowing my mind. Birds have regional accents. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Like that, <laughs> out of everything you've told me, <laughs> I love the thought of like an Australian Australian bird translation is like, "Oi, cunt, come over here." <laughs> I just like the idea of like an American bird being like "bacock" and an Australian bird being like "bacock," mate. <laughs> <laughs> Viruses don't always make you sick. Some of them can restore vision in people with uh, degenerative retinal diseases. Yo, okay, so speaking of things that kind of fuck with you, right? Um, there's a species of sea slug that smells like watermelon. I believe it. Um, okay. So there was apparently this, This I think this guy was either <clears throat> he was blind or mute or something, and he got Alzheimer's and just forgot that he was blind or mute, whatever it was, and was able I to start. I think that it's mute, buddy. Right. You're not going to yeah. forget that you're blind. There was something. Like, this guy got Alzheimer's, forgot about whatever this crippling disability he had was, imagine? and was suddenly able to do it. That's you, insane. Could you imagine all this, like, you're not able to see, and then, like, you get Alzheimer's, like, oh my god! I can't like, see! And like, then huh. the nurses are sitting there like, god dang, this guy, like, he, how long has he been doing this joke? Like, it's still not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, I love the way your mind went with that. He's really trying. He's <sighs> you're a sick fuck, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. I love Thank it. You. Um, so you guys know, or Brandon, you know, at least, um, I watched Godzilla vs Kong as well as all the other parts of the MonsterVerse to date. I watched um, it. Last I week. haven't watched it yet. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about that. I'm just mentioning that. Um, you know what I was thinking of with all the crossovers that we've seen. Godzilla do and all the aliens versus predators shit. I would love just once to get a Godzilla versus aliens comic book. What? The okay, aliens like from... aliens like the Predator the... versus Aliens franchise or no, just yeah. you. aliens just, in general? Yeah. No, yeah. Thank you. No, aliens versus predator aliens. No thank so you. So they show up, Godzilla steps on them, and the movie's over. <laughs> no. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> No. Or like a face hugger got on Godzilla. Like the alien queen, like the, the original alien <clears throat> queen who's like, you know, millennia old shows up and she's like fucking kaiju sized and there's a huge ass fucking fight. Well, I got some bad news for you, brother. Have you watched uh, Prometheus? Shut up. You shut up. <laughs> you shut up. It's not canon. I just don't. I just don't want it. Well, that's okay, <laughs> no. Brandon. We don't have to want the same things all the time. Yeah, that's Just a good saying. point. Female koalas have two vaginas. I don't like that. Once I don't again, like I don't like that we went do. from we went from Godzilla to koala vaginas. I don't like that. Koalas also, are really not I'm gonna are really look, dumb. I'm going to look this up and just double check on that. If you Oh, I think you're going to get some bad images, bro. I don't know if you should do. Koalas that. are so dumb that if you change the form of their food, for example, taking eucalyptus and just putting it on a plate, they will starve to death rather than eat it because they can't recognize it. Yeah, I can Life, believe that. Life's hard sometimes, you know. Have you guys ever heard what a koala sounds like? 
No. No. Uh, yes, I have. But now I know what a koala penis looks like, and I am. Don't need to know that. It's... Speaking Wait. of alien, are there two of them? No. It it looks like the fucking chest mouthpiece. Oh man. Oh, does it have like one of those weird like flayed tips? Like the tip looks bifurcated, kind of, but it literally looks like a chest burster coming out of this thing's body. There is a species of parasitic barnacle that infects male crabs and gives them a sex change. Good for them. We live closer to when the T Rex lived than the T Rex did to when the Stegosaurus lived. Oh, yeah, I did know that one. Do you know how dinosaurs lived on the opposite side of the uh, galaxy? Yeah. What? Because our galaxy is rotating as well as our solar system. Oh, okay. You're hurting Brandon's brain. I just, I, I'm now realizing why people don't take in too many new facts because they're oh. like, I think they have to sacrifice something. <clears throat> and uh, well, I'm, I'm concerned about ready. the information that I have now given up to take in this information. Well, here's then the funny part is I've already. This one. This one is so made for this podcast. Oh, no. I'm on board. Male dolphins can ejaculate as far as 10 feet and with such force that it can kill a human if the human was foolish enough to attempt zoophilitic relations with a dolphin. Which is also kind of concerning because can't, like, don't dolphins, like, I'm going to fuck that human. Dolphins are one of the only other animals that has sex for fun. Here's my thought on that. Um, yeah, but when you're that cute and happy about life, I mean, how did the, how the fuck did th- did they figure out that uh, that uh, dolphin jizz can kill a human? I'm guessing how, exactly how you're if thinking. You calculate how far it can go, and then you take that into but put it into some oh. dumb cum centered math equation. Like the Dude, only thing that I can imagine if is you some shoot a rifle. At 10 feet away from someone through water, it won't kill them. Yeah, did not think (laughs) that we were that we were going in the direction of rifle after talking about a different kind of shooting. (laughs) Okay, so on the topic, actually, on the topic of dolphins, apparently, dolphin like vaginal secretions. Oh god! There's like like they've done. No, 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 no. It's like like watermelon. uh, God damn it. No, apparently the secretions are so fucking, like, amazingly good at giving male dolphins uh, orgasms. Orgasms? Yeah, they have, female dolphins have started weaponizing their secretions to prevent males from raping them. Wait. Huh? Huh? So, there have been times where, okay, so, because of the, the, the strength that female or like the, the dolphin vagina secretions have um they can they can give male dolphins multiple orgasms back to back to the point that it will kill the dolphins so the dolphin female dolphin is just doing like a sh- like an extreme version of kegels essentially basically, like that makes him come to death basically she fucks the the males to death and now male dolphins have like apparently this is good on her caused- this has caused male dolphins to cut back on their raping. Uh, if a female dragonfly doesn't want to have sex, it plays dead in midair while the male's trying to have sex with it. That's commitment. Right? Man, sunrise with the science boys, am I right, boys? Emperor penguin. <laughs> Emperor penguin heart rates rise to 250 beats per minute right before a dive. They drop to six beats per minute as they dive. So they can stay underwater for 20 minutes. That's insane. I mean, my heart rate ru- like rests at six beats per minute, but nobody gives me a fucking medal for that. Twelve people have been to the moon, but only eight have won uh, Takashi's castle. That's that's actually pretty uh, impressive to know, because Takashi's castle is funny as fuck to watch. Oh, yeah, it is. Sloths don't fart. Man, and there, well, there goes my fucking goal of sucking a fart out of a sloth's asshole. By the way, uh, your your female penguin fact reminded me of a uh, female penguin reminded me fact. of 
penguin, sorry, female uh, dolphin fact reminded me of, did you guys ever hear what happened when they introduced the idea of money to chimps? Oh, yeah, they started using it for sex. Yeah, they started fucking almost, nonstop. Almost immediately. <laughs> yeah. They did an episode of South Park about that. Exactly, but the thing was, it was true. Brandon, did you hear about this? Yes. Oh, it's so funny. Do you want to and see something? It makes me just very like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Primates, what up? Hey, guys. If you just can't get enough of Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys, you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SR Sleepy Boys. Or you can check out our YouTube channel, Sunrise with the Sleepy Boys. You can also find us on Spotify, Radio Public, Anchor, Breaker Radio, and coming soon, Apple Podcasts.